And welcome to EKG. This is Ejax. And this is Cloudy. And we're here today starting a bar- Barkham at Arkham Asylum. What the fuck did you Barkham, Barkham? at Man Asylum. <laughs> Bat- oh yeah, but come at man asylum. I was like, what the fuck are you even saying? I can talk today. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's motherfucking Batman, dude. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for this day. Oh, uh, subtitles on. Yeah. Five sure. Look at that. Batman. Already like getting us all prepped. We'll go normal. Okay, okay. I could do hard. I might actually change to hard at some point if it gets too oh. easy, because oh, yeah. I'd I've played these games way too much. I know, like, these are actually, like, for, like, this is kind of like your Mario 64, right? Oh, yeah. Like, but, yeah. So, I'm Well, I mean, it wasn't, like, the first... Oh, yeah, but I mean, like, it's a game that you just, like... This Love, is, this yeah. One, yeah, this is, like, one of your games. Oh, yeah. They're so well made, too. Mm-hmm. I've played through City and Origins. I haven't played through this or Night. Yeah, I actually... I played City and Origins first, and then I came back and played uh, Asylum. <laughs> And then, um, then I played Night, obviously. And it's it's really hard to pick a favorite. Like, the story in Origins is probably one of the best. But everything else, well, I mean, and the character design. Yeah, character like. design is awesome. Yeah, I love. I think that. Origins, except the Batman. Except Batman. <laughs> except well, Batman. Like, yeah, I'm just saying, like, purely artistic wise, like. But I still like Batman better in the other games. I oh like, yeah, I like Arkham Knight Batman the best. Like, oh hell how yeah. He looks, but design wise, for like the villains. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. I pick, I pick Origins for design. Definitely. But then, like, in terms of, like, like the game story and, like, the world, I think this one's awesome. How, like, you're in the fucking, like, you're just, like, in the asylum. Like, you're on the island. It's just, like, it, like, I don't know, that whole being more contained might actually help the game. Oh, yeah. From what I've it, heard and thought. Yeah, it, it does in certain aspects, but obviously, like, it was weird for me having played City and Origins coming back to playing Asylum because I mean, it's way less open world. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's still incredibly well done. Like, you ne- there's never really many points where you're like, oh, this is boring. Right, I can't, yeah, like, God, fucking, I'm the Batman right now. This <laughs> sucks. By the way, we captured Joker. I actually am more of a fan of the shorter ears. I am too. I know a lot of people don't agree. A lot of people. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I can see it. It kind of makes it look like. Should we? Should we? Uh, so, no, I just I, I heard Mark Hamill's voice and I literally got erect and stopped talking. <laughs> his hair is on point. For as horrible as his hairline is, like he, like who styles it? Right. Then he's got like that little point in the back. He's probably got Harley that does it. Not so tight, boys. God, if Mark Hamill isn't the greatest Joker voice oh, ever. Oh, it's yeah. And I'm so fucking excited for that Killing Joke Oh, movie. God, yes. Like, with him and uh, Conroy, like, it's gonna be great. Yep. Dude, I love Kevin Conroy, but man, he is aging not too greatly. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like, he posted some video talking about, um, uh, like, Batman vs. Superman. Like, not, like, being a critic about it. Yeah. Just, like, his take on who would win between Batman and Superman. But it was, like, one of those super close-up selfie videos. Like, literally the entire frame was just his face. Oh. And it was like, oh, God, dude. Like, <laughs> looks like craters on a moon. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love that man to death. But, man, you should not. Th- there's a reason you're a voice actor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking savage. Shots fired, right? I know. But Jesus. I, I'm not saying I'm any better, but... I'm not. I don't. I, I'm. I don't put my face out on. Yeah, right. We, we 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 do a voice <laughs> show, man. This is all audio. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I'm a voice actor too. There's a reason we're. Yeah, <laughs> we have the the faces for radio, as they say. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. Speaking of Batman vs Superman, I saw that shit last night, which will be like a week ago from when this goes up. Um, I know you haven't seen it, so I won't spoil anything. But oh, all God. I gotta say is Ben Affleck is my favorite bat. Oh, gotta fucking invert it. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Anyway, um, Ben Affleck is my favorite on-screen Batman, like, by a, a healthy margin. Yeah, my, I had some family over yesterday, and my sister and her boyfriend had seen it uh, the night before, and my sister and her and Alex said the same thing. They said, like, Ben, ben Affleck was probably the best. He's the best thing like, in the movie. Yeah. That's what everyone is saying, like, and everyone's, like, really excited for his solo Batman movie. And some people want him to, like, direct it. Because, like, fuck it. You know, he can do it. And yeah, why not? he understands the character, it seems. And he's really... 
he he's the first Batman who I didn't feel like I was watching Bruce Wayne run around in a bat suit when he was Batman. Like yeah. I felt like I was watching Batman all the time. Like Michael Keane was like a good Batman, especially for the time. But like I never liked his Bruce Wayne because like I know some people liked that he was a little more like awkward and turtlenecky. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine him. It was like that picture of him in the Batcave where he's just wearing like a turtleneck and his glasses, right. and I'm like, what the fuck? Drinking some tea. Right. <laughs> Uh, reading, reading his Cosmo. Um, and then, like, Christian Bale was an amazing Bruce Wayne. Oh, yeah. But every time I saw him in the Batsuit, I was just like, eh. <laughs> Yeah. It was just, eh. It might have been the design of the Batsuit. And, mm -hmm. like, I knew it was supposed to be more sleek and more realistic and whatever. But, like, the only scene where I ever thought, like, damn, like, the, there's some serious Batman going on. There's two. From Batman Begins, which I actually think that suit looked better, but obviously he couldn't move his neck. Yeah. But now Batman can move his neck, and he doesn't have to wear a weird, like, enclosing headpiece that makes his mouth look like it's always in the O shape. It's like, ooh. <laughs> right. The, uh, Paul, pull up, pull up a picture of Pete Holmes in the Batman suit doing that face. <laughs> that face is what I'm talking yes. about. But Affleck, like, he just convinced me, like, I was watching Bruce Wayne, but, like, Batman, you yeah. know, like it was like, and there's like a workout montage. There's one, he's like doing pull ups, and I'm like, wow, he's actually kind of struggling with those. And it pans down, he has a chain around his waist, and there's like a bunch of weights on it. It's like, okay. holy, fuck. <laughs> like, it's like, and then he actually, like, I saw someone say, like, oh, he's not the detective. It's like the whole reason he's doing half the shit he's doing in the movie is because he's like working a case, yeah, exactly. And he's like being, he's actually a detective, like going to places to get info and shit like that. It's like, oh, shit, Batman actually, like working a case like you know he fucking would because he's the goddamn batman <laughs> yeah and yeah the, i'm pretty sure like in the dark knight series they had like one, one. scene of that there's one with the bullet it's the bullet yep. that's the scene that makes no sense because okay and i love that movie it is my favorite movie of all time but think about this joker's plan actually starts to like unravel and like starts to happen because bruce got that fingerprint and found the guy like that whole thing that means Joker put that dude's fingerprint on a bullet, shot it into a wall, and it exploded, and he knew that fucking Batman would still get the fingerprint. Like, what? <laughs> that, right? Like, why would he go through that much trouble? Like, when he could have just left the fingerprint somewhere else. Yeah, and there's no way wait, unless... Wait, wait, wait. I love this. I've got your scent, Batman. Oh. I will hunt you down. I, I love how oh, Joker's like looking at him too. Right. I love how they did that in Origins, where, cause then um, the one you're fighting Croc, he he like stays back. He's like, thought I caught your scent, and Batman's like, I know I caught yours. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. There is there is a yeah where like where Croc goes, oh I thought I caught your scent, but that like implies they've met before. Yeah, There's that doesn't make sense. There's a lot of shit like that in Origins, in Origins like, where like, Bane's yep. like, I've like, I've waited your death, like your death will bring me peace. It's like, have yeah, you met? It's the first time you've ever met. <laughs> and it's like, your death will bring me peace. <laughs> like, yeah, there was some continuity. Like, that's the problem with Origins' story, is that it like, tried to be like, like the beginning, but then also have everyone still know Batman and have those relationships. Yeah, while simultaneously there's like, news reports and people being like is there a batman who's right. the batman and then bane's like no will bring me peace. <laughs> like joker i love him i love joker and batman's relationship in that oh game. hell yeah like that that story is amazing the introduction and oh my god the killing joke scene where he like does his whole like yeah the, have you ever had a really bad day and it like zooms in and it does the whole killing joke monologue but yeah. his version and it's like but it's his memories from his point of view so they're all Tell fucked up and twisted you've never it's let great. me catch you this easily yeah I, oh yeah I by the way love that scene that's important right that like joker like let batman catch him easily oh yeah very important yeah so we were like talking over this but like there's subtitles. there's really not much going basically we would yeah what basically basically yeah so jo joker got captured by batman way too easily and now batman's like Basically, <laughs> that man stand, sticking around uh see what's going what's on because this is not and now the empire's going on. And then all of our uh, Joker's goons are in a silo. Like, yeah. like all the Blackgate guys are actually here because there's like a Blackgate thing. Oh, Sharpie. Quincy Shop. Oh, I got it. We get the first, uh, soon we'll get to see the first time they took Harley Quinn away. Yeah, you know that whole Jester thing? Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, 
Oh, that bugs me so much about this series is that she's like never a jester like she's supposed to be like never wears like a costume inspired by that like I there is the DLC for Arkham Knight I know where she wears her like original costume yeah. which looks awesome and then uh my favorite Harley Quinn costume though have you ever seen the animated movie um Assault on Arkham I haven't actually oh it's really good it's got Troy Baker voices Joker in it hell yeah and it's like a uh, between uh origins and Asylum type story. Joker okay. Is that on Netflix? Oh, uh, no. But you can find it. Like, oh, yeah. Just type it in on Google. You'll find it. Oh, yeah. We're not telling you to watch it illegally. People <laughs> at home, but uh, go watch it. It's really good. But Harley's costume in that, because she's got like a midriff type like shirt thing, but she still has like the, the collar, like the jester collar. And then she's actually got a hood that she can put on that looks like the Harley hood. Okay. And then like she's got like a red and a black sleeve and like the pants are red and black, like whatever. I think he's talking about you, Don't be a stranger. You're always welcome here. Sorry, I just, every time I hear Mark talk, I want to like, I, know. I like stop him. It's like, <gasps> no, I def yeah. I me, me and you both, like he started, we heard, like, we, like saw that it was focused on Joker and we're both like, <gasps> I don't like it. Yeah, it's it's tough too because a lot of the cutscenes in the Arkham series are just like so cinematically well done. Oh, I know. I've watched the. I haven't even seen this game be played before. I've only seen it in cutscene movies. Okay. Because like it's good enough to watch as a cutscene movie. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> what did he just do to the cuffs to get him off? Uh basically like put him around his neck and then kicked his back and that somehow makes him break which is actually kind of weird because that's exactly what batman does in arkham city when you get arrested really that's like how you get out of like huh i wonder if that would work i right, you would have to have some tough ass wrists <laughs> right because either the cuffs are going to break or your hands are going to be severed through handcuffs yeah <laughs> Fun thing though, Joker does have a higher pain tolerance, especially any version that he actually fell into the chemicals. He has a high, like, he has a super high pain tolerance. Because, really? like, the chemicals, like, fucked up his skin. That, that makes sense, actually. That's why he can take a beating and laugh. Like, okay. Because oh, it's like, yeah. He, yeah, he's crazy, but it's also why, like, when Jason hits him with, like, the crowbar, because, like, that happens, he can still laugh about it. Like, and that's why I saw this one thread where it was like, Heath Ledger's Joker versus, uh, like, the Arkham joke, I'm like, that's not even a fucking competition because one doesn't feel pain normally. Yeah. And one's like 6'1", and the other one's like 5'10". Yeah, exactly. He's, he's got reach, and he was... And this one's also, like, better at making, like, you know, contraptions and shit, like, weapons and stuff. So it's, well, like, the whole realism versus, like, comic book shit. So obviously the comic book one would win. Oh, yeah. Duh. Yeah, and it's like, I'm pretty sure Joker's never sitting around his house doing push-ups and lifting weights. <laughs> yeah, right. Neither version, really. Nah. Oh my god, I, there is one panel I saw of Joker where he's got like an 8-pack, like Harley walks up to his cell, <laughs> and he's got like shirtless and has an 8-pack. I'm like, okay, Jared Leto, let's calm down here. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I'm excited for Leto's Joker. Though. I am too. I'm very excited. If I'm they pull the bullshit where it's like, oh, it's actually Jason Todd, I'm going to be so fucking mad because that will undermine everything he does as Joker because right. that means there's a different Joker out there. Yep. That's the actual Joker, and I will want to see that instead of that. But I think Leto is going to be the Joker, and I think it's going to be good. Same. I just hate his design. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. Like, I'm, I'm really trying to keep an open mind about it. I know, it. same. Like, I, I'm trying. You know, like a small detail that if they would just switch wouldn't bug me so much is his suit color. Mm -hmm. Why does it have to be maroon at times? Like, yeah. why can't it just be purple and green? And exactly. why, does, why can't Harley be red and black? You too cool for the actual colors, DC? Like, <laughs> you make Superman and Wonder Woman and Batman's costumes look literally like they were pulled out of a fucking comic book. But no, the villains have to look all edgy and cool. <laughs> <laughs> right? They gotta have tattoos. That's right. I have like no. You have just you have, you have to come back. Yep. This is a new game plus, baby. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's got to be secrets in here. Ooh, there's the chattering teeth, though. Ah, oh, damn it. That's right. They're opposite for that. I can go back and change that later, though. What? Um, and, like, in... Mo in you totally just, like, drifted. I know, I totally you drifted. Just, you were just... Because <laughs> that's the thing. Like, when you play video games by yourself, you'll kind of talk like that. Where you'll just be like, oh, yeah, I got to go back. And you, like, drift off. But, like, like I forget we're doing this sometimes. When we're oh, playing. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, what were you going to say? But no, because like, in most of the Arkham games, are when I play them, um, I have, like, the Batarang and shit uh, set to, like, um, L2 and R2. And then here it's L1 and R1. 
Oh, okay. And it throws me off. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you have them like reversed, like like because aren't batteries on the bottom right? Yeah. Like that. No, is... no, they're on the the top. No, they're on the top left in this game. Oh, what the? Ugh. Yeah. I like I like them on the bottom right. Or bottom well, bottom. it's that's what the quick is like. Yeah, um, yeah. That's what I'm like. I, I can just go I kicking. can hold L1 and throw it, and or I can hold L1 and throw it with R1, but I can also just tap L1. And they'll throw it at like the closest dude. Yeah, his suit almost looks like his cape almost looked a little blue there. Yeah, in in certain light it definitely does. It's Which definitely is a lighter black. Yeah, it does. Like, didn't someone have to like spend ye like over like a year or two animating his cape? Like, that's a thing. Someone was only really? they only worked on his cape animation for like this and like City or uh, like whatever. Like one of the Arkham games. It's like a thing. Yeah, yeah. That looks like Truman Capote. <laughs> All right, and on that way, go back, go back. Go back, go back, turn around, face him, face him, face oh. that poster, oh, face right. that poster. <laughs> Alright, so stop, Paul zoom in on that face, join us next time for some more, oh, yo, oh my god! <laughs> now Paul zoom in even more! <laughs> join us next time for more Batman. <laughs> god damn, I'm so excited, man. Oh, it's, god damn Batman. Oh my god.